What a great night. It started raining. And all the sound of the rain against the the den and the sound of the forest and the wind. It's been years since I don't sleep in a tent. After a good breakfast in the morning, we get down here to visit a couple of towns here in the northwest of the island and look at these amazing natural pools. Like technically people get here to swim and it's all natural from the water. Some brave people in there. Look at that. Come on, you go. No! <laughs> it's quite cold, it's 17 degrees. Yes. How am I gonna jump there? It's not cold. Jump. It's cold. Look. I, pu I can push you. Be brave, baby. Be brave. I'm a swimming bird. Jump to the water. for a good lunch. Another viewpoint. Otro miradero. Ay. It's fun because we always find one single cow or some sheep, but it's always individuals. There's never more than one or two. Anyway, look at this. The ghost is super silent. tonight we had to go to another town because the one that is near our cabins there is there is nothing there we don't find we don't find any supermarket or anything so we came to this other town in any case it's just five minutes away so everything is super close here and now we have a nice food for tonight yes and also, we have a chance to see all these nice landscapes. Well, 
Bob Burford. Today we are leaving this beautiful place. It's been amazing to spend two days here, sleeping in this beautiful tent, waking up and seeing all these amazing views in the mountains and being so close to the coast and like being able to see this amazing ocean. It's been really, really amazing. But now we have to go back to the east of the island. We're gonna spend the rest of the days in Fulcham. We're gonna visit some stuff around there. Let's go start the day. This is probably one of the best things of this trip. It's not going to the mountains and doing some trekking like everybody says, but just going around the coast and see all these towns and the water. We are down by the sea. We got from here all the way down around, I don't know, like 400 meters or so, just downhill, down the cliff, really steep. And now we are here to take a look at the ruins. But to be honest, I don't think they are really good ruins. I mean, we're used to great Roman structures there in Catalonia and this doesn't seem such a great thing to be honest but I guess the best part of all are the amazing views up by a different path, this time really walking through the, through the cliff side, it's been, so yeah, it's been a while since I'm not in such a dangerous place, because any mistake walking, it's drop, you fucking drop into the water. There is a kind of a bridge that goes directly to stairs that go to the water but I didn't want to cross it because to be honest it didn't feel really safe and I guess it's nice from here, you know, so we're going back now hopefully we're gonna get some nice food when we're upstairs <laughs> After an amazing lunch, it's amazing meat, amazing steak, it was so delicious. With that kind of meat, you don't need to put ketchup anywhere. So now we're gonna check if we can use this skateboard car to go down and visit something. Okay, we're in the cable car. Little skirt. It doesn't look too safe compared to the other ones and it, it's apparently it's used on demand right yes that's so weird <laughs> The interesting bit about all of these cable cars is that it's not only for tourism, like actually the farmers that have to come here from there, they are using it actually for something useful, not just for tourism. Look at him! Wow. He's sucking the water! <laughs> Oh, the idea was to go there, take a picture yeah. jumping, take a picture with the water over here, yeah. 
over here. Then a big wave came and the water went over here. <laughs> After a change to dry clothes, we're gonna take a look at typical Madeira's houses. So we are driving towards Fulcham. We're gonna be there half an hour. But we wanted to stop to see the this seen the waterfall, we have seen the caves, and we have seen the same, the same path 1000 times. It looks like the designer of this level only created three or four terrain templates and they have been copy pasting it over and over. They don't have much budget for this forest man. Yeah. 